Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be finding the volume of some more L-shaped blocks. And before we do this, let's just review uh, the rules that we have to follow when we're doing something like this. We always ask ourselves, where do I break up the shape? That's the first thing we do. Then we draw two separate rectangular prisms to represent the one. We label all of our dimensions for each of the separate shapes, and then we solve the volume for both shapes, and we add, okay? Don't forget to label your answer with cubic units. All right, we are going to get started working on question one. So I'm gonna look at this shape and decide to break it up right here, okay? This is gonna be my first shape. Okay, and then this long piece will be my second shape. So I have to redraw those pieces. I'm gonna do it right here. And I'm gonna draw the longer piece right here and label, okay? I know this is 10 millimeters. I know this piece right here is eight millimeters. What else do I know? I know this is three, three millimeters high and two millimeters deep. Okay, this one was easy. Let's figure out some of the missing dimensions over here. Well, if it's two millimeters deep, it's also going to be two millimeters deep over here. And I need to figure out my width here. How wide is it? And what I know is this was 12 originally. And if I take away the eight, Right here, I know this width over here is four millimeters. So let me write down my dimensions. We are gonna be multiplying, our first shape is 10 by two by four. And our second shape, we have the dimensions eight by three by two. Eight by three by two. Let's solve. 10 times two is 20 and 20 times four is 80 millimeters, okay? Next, we have eight times three, 24, and 24 times two is 48 millimeters. Let's go and add those together. Eight and zero is eight, and eight and four is 12. 128 cubic millimeters. We're gonna write that in. 128 cubic millimeters, okay? Let's go on and look at number two. Okay, again, where am I gonna divide? I'm gonna divide right here. This is going to be one of my rectangular prisms and this will be the other, okay? I'm gonna recreate this one right now. Okay, and this piece right here. Uh, this is okay. Again, not perfect, but that's okay. I know that this is four feet. I know this is five feet. And I know that this piece is eight feet. That one was easy. Let's try to label the shape over here. It told us this side was 15, 16 feet in, in height. I know that this piece is four feet. And now I just have to figure out the depth over here. And if this is five, if the depth here is five, 
See that? Then this is also going to be five. So I'm going to label that five feet. That's kind of, ooh, sorry, that's kind of tough to see. Okay. Um, I'm going to write my dimensions down here for my first shape. I have an eight by four by five. Eight by four by five. And over here, I have a four by five by 16. Four by five by 16. Not a lot of room to solve my problem. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna start off with four times five is 20. 20 times eight is 160 feet. Then I'm gonna solve my next equation. I have four times five, is, again, is 20. Now I need to multiply 20 by 16. 20 by 16. Well, I know that 16 times two is 32. So I'm gonna add that extra zero, 320. 320 feet. Now let's, let's add to get my volume. Zero, six and two is eight. And one plus three is four. I have 480 cubic feet, 480 cubic feet. Okay. That's how I label that. All right. I am going to ask you right now to take your pencil and you are going to work on three, circle number three. You're going to work on number four, five, and six, and seven. So you're going to work on three through seven on your own right now, okay? Pause your computer. When you're finished with number seven, you can resume play and I will go over how to solve number eight with you, okay? Hit the pause button. Okay, I'm gonna help you right now work on number eight. We're gonna solve number eight together. I am going to divide this shape right here, right across here, okay? So that This shape right here will be one piece, and then this down here will be another, okay? So let's redraw those two shapes. I'm gonna draw the big one on the bottom first. Okay, that's a big one. And then I'm gonna draw this taller, kind of skinnier piece right here. Not perfect, but okay. All right. Let's label my new dimensions. Okay, let's think about what I knew here. This was 12 before I, before I broke it up. So, let's think about what I know. I know that this is six. So if this piece is six, then this piece over here has to be six. So I'm gonna label this piece six, six inches. Okay. What else do I know? Um, I know that this is 18 right here. So I'm gonna label that 18 inches. That stays the same. For both 18 inches doesn't change and I know that this is two inches wide okay we have some 
we have to lay we have to figure out what's missing over here all right if this is two and this piece down here is five if I put the five together with the two I'm gonna get seven so this is seven inches right here seven inches seven by 18 and I have to figure out how high it is. Well, if this piece was six, this piece has to be six. So I know that that's six inches. Okay, let's record our dimensions and solve. We have a six by seven by 18. So let me see, I'll write that right here. Six by seven by 18. And then we have this piece, which is six by two by 18. Six by two by 18. Okay, let's solve this. Well, I know six times seven is 42. So now we have to multiply 42 by 18. 42 by 18. Okay, two times eight is 16. Put down six, carry one. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1, 33. My placeholder, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 4, 4. Let's add it up here. 756. 756 for the 6 by 7 by 18. So I'm going to put that right in the middle of my shape. Okay, 756. You see that? Now I have to figure out the volume for this piece. We said it was six times two by 18. Six times two is easy. So it's 12 by 18 we have to solve now. I'll do that over here. 12 by 18. Eight times two is 16, put down six, carry one. Eight times one is eight, plus one is nine. Placeholder, one times two, two. One times one, one. Let's add them. Six plus zero, six. Nine plus two, 11. Carry one, 216. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna label that 216 cubic inches. Now we need to take both volumes here and add them together. Seven. 56 plus 216. Six and six is 12. Carry one. Five and one is six plus one is seven. And seven plus two is nine. That's a big one. 972 cubic inches. You see that answer? Okay, good luck. You have to do nine by yourself. I hope this helped.